This video we're going to show how to set up an oxyacetylene torch rig. So we have the oxygen tank on the right. It's a green tank. has green hoses coming off of it. Green knob. If we're hooking up the tank with the hose, this fitting is just your standard righty-tighty, lefty-loosey, just like you were doing a, a garden hose to tighten it down. The acetylene side is reverse threads. So in order to loosen that up, we turn it clockwise. Clockwise actually loosens up that hose. Counterclockwise is how we tighten it. So oxygen tank, standard threads. Acetylene tank is reverse threads. Now the oxygen side of the tank, we want that set at about 20 PSI. The right gauge tells you how much oxygen you have left in your tank. The left side is where we set how much flow we have coming out of our torch. When I open up my valve, I can only open that, or I only want to open that up a quarter turn. We don't want to open it up three full turns or anything like that. If anything bad happens, we want to be able to shut that down right away. So I'm only going to open that up a quarter turn. As you can see, we're sitting just a little over 20 PSI. But if I open up my hand valve on my torch rig and open up the oxygen side, when I have flow coming out of there, we're sitting at 20 PSI. On the acetylene side, we can tip this down. Same thing. I only want to open that up a quarter turn. Just enough. Pressure is pressure on this gas, so a quarter turn is the same as two full turns. So we're sitting there at about 8. We're going to open this up, drop it down, so it's sitting at 7. So we want 7 on the acetylene side we want 20 on the oxygen side make sure all your fittings are connected you're going to smell that acetylene uh, if you got a little leak there so we want to make sure we don't have any leaks around our torch area uh, while we're striking our torch so if we look at the torch we can see that our red hose is on the left that's where our acetylene is green hose on the right that's where our knob is to turn on the oxygen so i'm going to open both of these up just a little bit so i got a little flow coming out now that's not striking i have too much pressure coming out of there so it won't light so when we do this we want to just open them up just a little bit we don't want it really blasting out of there. I strike it with my striker. I can adjust my acetylene. See how we get that center blue tip to lengthen. If I adjust my oxygen, we actually bring that blue tip back, but the torch has a much hotter flame. So that's about how much of a flame we need for a lot of the stuff we're doing in here. But I want to shut that off. I am just going to shut off the oxygen side and then the acetylene side. So that's how you set up a oxyacetylene torch rig.